Hi, this is Juliet Loves Beginning with a message called You Bless Them by Seeing Them as They Are. You have the power to bring blessings into everyone's lives. The world you see is entirely up to you. The versions of the characters you experience, they're all completely obedient to your current perception. The film Nanny McPhee is an excellent demonstration of this. As she first appears, Nanny McPhee seems difficult to look at, certainly nowhere near anyone's perception of physical beauty. But as the characters allow their perceptions to change, her outer appearance seems to change from harsh to beautiful. And I'll include a link to a film clip in the description. <clears throat> the world seemingly around you, but actually in you, is that flexible too. It is entirely dependent on your perceptions. When you allow your perception to heal, the world around you heals. What are you waiting for? You all have such wonderful work to do. So many blessings to share with each other. When we speak of blessings, we don't speak of fortunate happenings or of answers to problems, even though they may seem to come in that way. The true blessing is always in seeing that light everywhere, in yourself, in another, in the world around you. In this way, we encourage you not to care about the forms that the world and the characters assume. They are all in very good and loving hands, always. Simply care about your willingness to allow your perception to be healed, to allow false thought to disappear, to allow the characters and the world to take their proper form, whatever that turns out to be. We promise you it's perfect. When we speak of blessings, we speak of a return to the awareness that all are loved, and all are loved, all are love, and all are loved. Just find your willingness to know this in every moment, and to extend this communication in all you say and do, and all the details will take care of themselves. In fact, noticing yourself caring about details is an excellent invitation to stop and return to the awareness of the whole. The whole of us, W-H-O-L-E, takes care of all the details. Your only job is to relax into what you are. When you do, wondrous transformations can occur. You won't care about them very much because you already returned to the happiness that allowed them to happen. And the happiness is the important thing. The forms simply obey the happiness. The greatest service you can do for anyone today is to see that one is empowered as open and able to allow the light they are to shine through them. If you see them that way, you'll see them as capable of amazing things, as capable of conveying blessings, as capable of stepping through anything that appears to block the path. From this perspective, you may be inspired to come to their aid, or you may be inspired to simply bask in their glow. Whichever is appropriate, it will be obvious. Simply enjoy the flow, the light you are and the light they are and everything takes care of itself. We say again, your part is obvious and easy to carry out. If you see your part this way, they will see their harmonious points that way too. Come together in the harmony you are, and all will be clear. If you can think of it as a privilege to be in the presence of anyone who seems to be before you, anyone who reaches out to make contact, anyone who springs to mind, you invite yourself back to the awareness of the free-flowing light they are and always have been. If you can see it in them, you can see it in yourself. And that is ease and flow. All are worthy of ease and flow. And it all comes very simply from your growing ability to focus upon what is real. We thank you and exalt in your beauty as the light. Thanks for listening.